Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're gonna be going over. We're gonna be going over the addition of custom keybinds and the best keybinds to use for season six and so on, and why I switched from what I had been come comfortable with for about how long have I been playing? Like eight months, and why I made the switch. So we're just gonna land in some, some arbitrary spot on the map. Doesn't really matter where. I just wanna don't wanna land with a lot of people, so I can just kind of go over this. Gameplay doesn't matter. I'm just gonna show you the keybinds and stuff and why I chose to use them. I'll tell you why I chose to use them. All right. If I could land, I could show you. Does anybody else have this problem where some of the like buildings and stuff won't load in right away? If so, just uh, let me know in the comment section what that is, because I have no idea why I that. Alright. <clears throat> so, for the keybinds here, you go to controls, right? And then you can see that it's got all the standard configurations, right? The old school, the quick builder, combat pro, builder pro. So what I used to use is I got super uncomfortable with Builder Pro, right? And for Builder Pro, it was it was a, like a, exponentially better than Combat Pro or any other layout that you could have used prior to being able to customize them to your personal liking. And the reason why I switched my keybinds is because as you know console players were at a disadvantage in the sense that the PC players were able to edit faster and build faster and this was largely due to the fact that you had to hold B down like hold it down so B was the switch mode button so take out your blueprint and B was also the edit button but you had to hold it down and that time that it took to so I'll show you I'll show you what it looks like right well I actually don't have it anymore but I have I edited that or my edit button is now just a standard you press it and it's ready to go just like a PC player would have it's just a button but it used to be you'd hold down and then the circle around the A would fill out, or the circle around the B would fill out and then you're able to edit. This makes it so that you're just exponentially faster and this could be the difference between if you're getting shot at by like two different people and you're in a box and you need to edit out the back, this could be the difference between you dying or you getting out. Which is always, so, but in changing uh, your edit button, so I changed mine to A, right? But A used to be jump. So I turned on auto sprint, which in order to turn on auto sprint, you'd go to the gear here. These are the game settings. And you would go down to sprint by default, and you turn that on. And what this allows you to do is whenever you start moving, so you move the joystick, in this case, you're automatically running, right? You don't have to press any buttons to be running or hold anything down, okay? So this is important because we changed the left, um, left stick to jump. So it, we replaced sprint with jump because we took, changed edit, from or jump from A to left stick because we've replaced jump with edit. And this this honestly took a while to get used to. Like I played for about two or three days and the first day I could not win a game. Like I was but it's like that two uh, one step forward two or one step backward, two steps forward type mentality, you know? So that's that's where we were getting at there. And now it's just, I'm just completely comfortable with it, no problem. <sighs> the only thing that's kind of difficult is since you changed left click to jump, 
you no longer have the ability to auto sprint, right? So what this changes is if you wanted to switch your weapons, right? Or you want to drop ammo, you can't stay with auto sprint and be like, oh, here's half my AR bullets, right? So you'd have to, if you want to continue moving or you don't want to get sniped, you either box up or you can jump and like drop it or switch your weapon. But you cannot, there's no more auto sprint with this. Or there's, yeah, there's no auto sprint with this layout. Which in the end really isn't that bad. Like the pros far outweigh the cons in this set, in the sense. Oh wow, I'm talking in game chat to these people. <laughs> just uh, just, that's awkward. I just realized I was talking in game chat, so surprised nobody said anything. Anyways, so back to our controls here. Am I gonna die in the storm? Yeah, maybe. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. Okay, so back to our controls here. Those are the only two things that I changed, right? Just edit and jump. Now, I understand that this is not the only way that you could have changed um, the ability to edit faster. So you could have changed Builder Pro to edit faster. Another common way that people do it, but I, I just chose this way because I feel like having jump on the left stick increases my accuracy. I no longer have to have to press A to jump, right? And I, can, I just, just one fluid motion. I can just, I can track a lot better, especially if, if with um, submachine guns. With shotguns, it wasn't that much. My shotgun accuracy has always been really great, but with submachine guns, I feel like the, the difference is quite noticeable. I don't really know why, but I don't know. Again, this is personal comfort. So what you could do instead, if you really like A to to jump and you can't get used to it, what you can do is you can keep A as jump, right? And you can change Y to edit. And that's going to remove your pickaxe. And you can change your pickaxe button to your map buttons. And then change your map button to right on the d-pad which will it's honestly it's less of a change than oh there's a storm it's less of a change than what I did because I tra changed up a bunch of the controls rather than or not a bunch but just I had to get rid of get used to editing and jumping on a different button than I had been used to for about seven or eight months which was uh, honestly kind of difficult but I think it was worth it in the end. So if you don't want to put up with that, and you think that, or and you just want to change, edit to Y, that's totally a valid, uh, viable option. All right. So don't think this is the only way. I'm just saying well, this is the way I think is the best. This is what I do personally. Yeah. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys have changed your controls to have you even changed your controls if you haven't changed your controls I recommend adding this the uh, and you want to take your gameplay to the next level I highly recommend changing edit to either a or Y or whatever if you find a better way then let me know down in the comment sections as well be like hey Bryce this is a different way that you can do this and it's a lot better and I'd be, I'm open to trying new things. But right now, I'm really liking this, so. But yeah, if you want to take your gameplay to the next level, then I highly suggest changing your edit button so that you can edit a lot faster. And this will take you, this will give us console players a chance to compete with the likes of PC players when it comes to building and build-offs. Not that we haven't been competing with them already, but it's going to give us a lot better of an edge. Alright, don't forget to leave a comment down below, maybe give me a thumbs up, ring that notification bell, or even subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.